Yes, yes, yes. Your boy, Academics, man. Let me tell you this, man. Um, in the midst of the fuckery and coonery that's been going on in hip-hop lately, you should know what I'm talking about, right? Birdman Sandusky actually agreed to sit down with Angie Martinez for a full-on interview. Yes, he climbed out of the motherfucker boy's bathroom just to get a interview with Angie Martinez. We haven't heard from this motherfucker in years. Now, there's been a lot of allegations. He's been in the news for uh, uh, swindling people allegedly and also being sued. But he finally got his chance to speak up. Now, it was an hour and 20-minute interview. There's a link in the description. Please go check it out. If you already checked it out, it's fine. We'll just talk about it. Now, first and foremost, it was a fucking atrocious interview, okay? I mean, literally, it would have been more informative and more entertaining. Well, not entertaining. Actually, Birdman's a little bit entertaining. However, it would have been more informative, and it would have been better off just listening to a sound effect of over and over, just hit, listen to the chafing of Birdman rubbing his hand together, because... Birdman literally told us nothing, nada. Basically, it was about, really, it was about a million questions asked, but if you really summed all those up into, like, the main questions, it was like three. And you couldn't get those answers out of him no matter what. Or at least, you couldn't get him to not repeat the same thing. Now, Angie Martinez did the interview, and I get it. I mean, Angie Martinez is like the, the, the celebrities people or person. Like, they love her. I mean, they got a great rapport with her. She's not the interview that's going to kind of, like, hit you with an uppercut. She's not going to sneak in questions you might not appreciate. She kind of feels you out and kind of goes accordingly, okay? Now, that's not the best thing for the fans all the time. Me, I want to know what this motherfucker is really up to, okay? I got a lot of motherfucking questions because I've been reading motherfucking TMZ. But, of course, Angie Martinez got her own unique style. That's the reason why she probably got the interview, right? I mean, of course, Birdman's not running to a million other outlets. So here's the thing. We learned absolutely nothing. At least nothing Birdman didn't want to tell us. Now, just a couple bullet points if you guys are wondering what was said. If you don't want to listen to the whole interview. Basically, he says he sees Lil Wayne every goddamn day. He says he sees him in the studio. He says we see each other at the studio. We'll get in the same studio, listen to music. But we won't talk about our issues, okay? He says he'll never call Lil Wayne. He doesn't call his phone, even though he sees him every day. And basically says that, hey, he doesn't talk about issues between them at the studio because it's not the place to talk about issues. It's a place to listen to music. Now, what about the $51 million lawsuit? That's been highly publicized, by the way. $51 million lawsuit. I'm telling you, listen, I see a motherfucker that owe me $51 million. We might be swinging. However... He says, listen, uh, he said, I don't know about no 51 million playboy. And you got to imagine he's rubbing a hand. OK, he's doing a hand rub. He says, listen, I paid Wayne 70 million up front. He said, I don't owe that motherfucker no 51 million more. And by the way, he doesn't say motherfucker. Of course, he keeps calling Lil Wayne, by the way, his son. OK, or my child, which is the lingo is a little bit like some my bullshit, which I'm like, this nigga sound like he'll definitely get you clapped if you really, really step out of line. Now, he says this. I gave him $70 million up front. He says Lil Wayne has never asked me. And this is the whole thing he said. He said if Lil Wayne ever asked him for $51 million face-to-face, -face, or at least that came out of his own mouth, he would give it. But he says those requests only come from lawyers who have interpreted that he's owed that. Basically, Lil Wayne never asked him personally, like, yo, pops or whatever they call each other or dad or I don't know. Lil Wayne has never said, yo. Could you give me my $51 million? He says Lil Wayne has never said that to him. He said if he, Lil Wayne did, he would pay him, which, which I'm thinking, like, that's it? Now, this is what he said, okay? He says, basically, if Lil Wayne wants to leave as well, it's the same thing. Lil Wayne don't got to file no lawsuit. All he got to do is tell Birdman that Pops, it's time to go, and Birdman will let him leave. Now, I'm like, damn, Really? Now, it sounds so simple. That's what I'm telling you. He's kind of tap dancing around everything, right? I mean, now, let's talk about the other people who have had issues with him as well. What about Tyga? Or actually, let's go back to uh, Lil Wayne. What about the Carter 5 being pushed back, right? Because he says, the Carter 5 being pushed back, Playboy, that ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? Like, pretty much he says that Universal, apparently with the new deal with Cash Money, Universal handles a lot. He says, Carter 5 being pushed back does not have anything to do with him. Okay, now what about Tiger? He says Tiger got a new contract. Remember, Tiger went on the Breakfast Club, was very disgruntled, right? It looked like he didn't have allowance money unless Kylie gave him. Now, he said Tiger got a new contract and Tiger has been paid advance money and royalty money. Basically, Birdman said that Tiger issue is not with him, it's actually 
with the people on Young Money. So the reason why Tiger wants to leave like Cash Money Young Money is because he doesn't get along with Nikki and Drake. And we remember from the Vibe interview, he called them out. So I'm like, hmm, maybe Birdman's actually telling the truth, even though it, it sounded a little bit fishy, but I'm going to believe him, okay? Now, what about Nikki and Drake? He says, listen, if Lil Wayne wants to leave, he just got to tell me he wants to leave, and I let him go. And by the way, he said, if I ever let Lil Wayne go, he says my motivation to be in the music business would probably just go, and I'll probably quit because... If Lil Wayne is gone and we accomplished so much, there's no need to like still be going that hard. And he says he might retire. We've never heard those words come from Birdman before, but he's talked about retirement. Now, he said Nicki and Drake, even if Lil Wayne leaves, they're not leaving cash money. OK, basically, he says, Wayne, you could go. Drake and Nicki know where they're going to leave. Now, let me just interpret that for you, because. Lil Wayne is signed to Cash Money. Drake and Nicki signed to Young Money. Now, Young Money, you might think, belongs to Lil Wayne, but not really. It belongs to Birdman and Lil Wayne. Birdman owns 51% of that. Lil Wayne owns 49%. So pretty much what he's saying, Lil Wayne, if you want to leave as a solo artist, good luck, okay? But if you're trying to take Young Money, that's not going to happen, all right? Now, what about people not getting paid? I mean, everybody getting paid. Maybe, like, Nicki ain't getting paid. Maybe Drake ain't getting paid. First of all, he said they're happy. But he said this. How could anybody have money problems if all four of them have been on the Forbes list for, like, the last five years? And I'm talking about Nicki, Drake, Wayne, and Birdman. So he says, we're all eating good. How the fuck could anybody have money problems? And I'm like, uh. Yeah, I have been on the Forbes list, but the Forbes list has not always been accurate. Look at 50 Cent. He just filed for bankruptcy, okay? Now, he did mention the favorite, okay, Thuggalicious, Young Thugger. He says that, yo, Young Thug is his nephew, okay, not his lover. He said, his, well, he didn't mention lover, but he said, Young Thug is his nephew, Lil Wayne is his son. He says, they will do music together like he's a mob boss. He says, they're cool with each other, they're not beefing, maybe they had some issue at one point, but it's been squashed, and they will do music together, okay? He denies having anybody shoot at Lil Wayne's bus. He says anybody that would do that is not a friend of his. He also denies having anybody throw GTV vodka at Lil Wayne at Club Live, he says if anyone around him did that, he would have put them in their place, pretty much, he, he listen, it's nothing he said, oh yeah, I fucked up, or damn, it was somebody in the crew, he thought, they thought it was real beef, he admitted to nothing, okay, also denied that he was being investigated to be indicted, he said, I ain't getting indicted, okay, it's kind of crazy, now he said, basically, the whole thing with Wayne and Young Thug, Young Thug was just looking up to Wayne, that's why I wanted to do the Carter Six, and then it went to the Barter Six, and he said, if you check out the content on the tape, there was nothing dissing Wayne, okay? Now, let me just tell you this, because he pretty much told DuckTales after DuckTales after DuckTales, back to back to back, okay? Now, only an idiot would believe him. I mean, Angie Martinez, who was probably very happy to interview him because that's an exclusive. No one else is getting an interview with Berman Sandusky out here. I mean, she actually flew out to go interview him on a fucking yacht and in a mansion. Now, she was probably either too shook or just too reserved to even really press him about the things we really want to know. And I'm not going to, like, blame her for that. That's not her style to press, okay? Not, not her style to press into a zone of, uh, or a uncomfortable zone, Okay? However, man, let me tell you this, man. It felt like it was a goddamn fucking circle jerk of trying to get the answers to, like, three questions. It was like doing a fucking reach around. The simple questions that we wanted to be answered is Birdman saying, Dusky, did you rob nobody? Are you fucking a young thug? And my nigga, did you or are you involved in or were you ever pissed at Lil Wayne? Maybe not because he's never going to admit to, like, yeah, I told that nigga to shoot his bus up, but... Did you ever have anything against Lil Wayne where it nearly got physical? Come on, man. There's a lot of things that's on the table. Your name is listed in indictments. They could have got a lot more specific. But I understand. I mean, it's Angie Martinez. That's her style. And it's Birdman. Birdman, he handled the interview very well. Very well. I mean, he talks slow, but he's not an idiot. And you also got to give him credit for that. So make sure you guys click in the link in the description. Go check out the interview if you want to. If you don't want to, I pretty much gave you a good summary. But it is like an hour and 20 minutes long. Get in the comment box. I want you guys to weigh in. Did you guys like it? Were you frustrated watching it? I'm telling you, it's a frustrating thing to watch because you kind of just want to blurt out questions like, ask this motherfucker this, please. 
okay? And also, I'm not sure if she knew every single detail of the whole saga for, like, the last two years. Because, you know, me personally, I've been covering it, like, very in detail. I mean, she had a couple of headlines that she kind of worked off. So, again, comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely. Subscribe, ship with DJ Academics, the negotiator. Hey, at least we got Birdman on tape. At least talking. Get a comment box. I'm out.